It's time to sound design, baby. What is going on, Rocket Powered Sound Designers? Welcome to the best channel on YouTube for Serum Tutorials. In today's video, we're going to be making some harmonic growl basses, and this is what the technique sounds like. Okay, so you get it. We can also adjust the tone. Now, guys, this is what I'm saying. Stick around to the end of video because this technique is super, super cool, and you can put it on any of your sounds, but we can adjust the tone. And then just completely adjust the way the tone of the overall sound sounds like, and it's amazing. So what do you say we go ahead and jump straight into today's video? By the way, if you're not already subscribed and you're watching this tutorial right now, what are you doing? You buy, you gotta click that subscribe button. I'm putting out a serum tutorial every single day, and when you're not subscribed, you're missing out on that. And come on, it's not like we aren't the best serum tutorial on YouTube, right? So if you serum tutorial channel. <laughs> All right, well, anyways, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. First things first, we're gonna go into Spectral Monster 4. Um, this whole introduction on the oscillator section, this isn't typically um, what's this isn't the style or technique that I want to show you that's going to be in the effects section um, But we're just going to go ahead and breeze through this in case you guys want to make the base So first things first I just modulated the level here um, As well as put a little sync Onto the sound as well. We could do that with here And then I also modulated the wave tail position to give it a growly talking sound And that is it for oscillator A. That's all we did. And then I just made like some some pretty interesting curves here. Now filter. Um, the filter is actually kind of strange because I used add bass to create um, something something a little bit like a high pass filter, but not quite. It it still makes a a vocal sound. I'm gonna leave it around there. And then I did modulate the sync a little bit just to give it a little bit more movement. Now, this isn't the part of the sound that's gonna be making you guys go, wow. Right now, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So, I've actually been over this really cool technique before, but very briefly. And today's video, we're gonna be learning how we can use this thing to our benefit, and this is all found within the chorus. So all we're gonna do to start ourselves off is turn up the mix 100% in the chorus, and what that allows us to do is get a full perspective on what the chorus is actually doing to the sound. Let's take a listen. Okay, first things first, we do have a uh, the low pass filter turned on to about halfway here. We can either turn that up or switch it to a high pass filter and turn it all the way down. Okay. Well, sounds like ass right now. I think we can both agree on that. Um, but what I'm gonna be doing now is turning down the rate to zero hertz. So there is actually no movement gonna be going on inside the chorus itself. When we start to turn on the depth, we're gonna notice all the sound on the delay starts to be um, focused into a closer space. Now, when we start to turn up the feedback, we get a lot of feedback on the sound, which is actually what we want. So I'm gonna be modulating this up because once we get to a certain point, we have a disgusting tail after the sound is already played. So. Right here, we have just about virtually no tail, and I'm gonna be modulating up from there and all the way up. Okay, okay. Now, here's the three different parts here that are gonna be working together in unison here. The delay number one, delay number two, and the depth. These are each gonna be controlling a different element of the particular harmonic, or what we perceive as the, like, just really, um, full flush pitch that I originally played so we can go ahead and adjust this to whatever we want I'm just gonna go ahead and play around and you guys can do the same and see what sounds best it 
It's almost like we're making chords within the chorus. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, funny how that works. <laughs> just about there so it's completely up to you where you guys make the sound this isn't my bass this is your sound so you guys can do whatever the hell you want with it but guys seriously if you put this effect onto any of your sound kind of do like this um, with these settings you can make some really crazy stuff and I'm pretty sure getter has been using this effect pretty um, pretty loosely lately I mean um, I'm not I can't even remember some of the songs but I can hear it in some of the basses. Um, that could also just be the ring modulation that he puts on. Uh, but, you know, the chorus can do a similar effect here. Anyways, I went ahead and put on a multiband compressor and then just finished it off the sound with a hyper and dimension. But yeah, guys, today's video, I really just want to show you that chorus and kind of highlight the feature. <laughs> What is that, like a minor chord it sounds like? But yeah, really, really cool stuff here. Um, this is by far one of my personal favorite uh, techniques in Serum to use. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. You know, I'm trying to keep you guys up to the most up-to-date, most relevant Serum techniques that the professionals are using. So I thought this was really cool and I wanted to share it with you guys. Anyways, without further ado, drop a like on the video if you thought it was chill, you thought it was a good video. I mean, what am I saying, chill? Who am I trying to fool? I'm never chill. Anyways, without further ado, my name is Shane from Rocket Parrot Sound, and I will catch you guys in the next Serum Tutorial. <laughs>